I just feel like all my people here that watch me, all they hear is Miss Rachel. <laughs> the back of my videos, the back of everything. Miss Rachel. Who's worse? Miss Rachel in the beach. It's not juvenile back in that time though. Don't you go go like a burp That's what I want to listen to. What do you mean? What do you think they listen to in my talk? You think they listen to Pop in the Bubblegum in my pop? No, definitely not Sticky Sticky. Definitely not Icky Sticky Bubblegum. I listen to you all for a three in my pop. My kids jam in my pop. They know how to potty. My car is ready for a three. Hola! I just got live right now. I just, I just popped on. I don't even think I've been on five minutes. I didn't even make my first drink. Look at that. This is all I got left, guys. I gotta go to the liquor store tomorrow. Actually, that bottle lasted us a whole month. On your nose. Know, I don't want to put the music on because it's gonna fuck up my YouTube shits. Right? So we'll do it. Babe, what citrus I have over there? Hey boo, what are you doing? We're doing an easy drink tonight. I'm making a few different dinners tonight because I have to make uh, vinegar and pork chops, vinegar peppers with pork chops. Um, I also have chicken spadinis because my husband doesn't like the pork chops and vinegar peppers. So I'm making like a little of this, a little of that. And then I'm also making a really quick like pasta with vegetables because I don't know if my kids are going to eat any of that. So that's their option. What do we do to deserve all these lives? I don't know, guys. <laughs> I told you, if I have a couple of extra minutes, I'll spend it with you. Plus, the summer's here, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pop on live every Friday. So, it's shitty this weekend. I don't know. This weekend is like... I was, I was planning. I was hoping for a beautiful weekend. This is a little grapefruit juice. Still going strong with that same grapefruit juice I have. Yeah, this, it's supposed to rain, like, every day. This has been in the freezer, and if, if this isn't the most inviting bottle of vodka, I don't know what is. I mean, come on. It's just so inviting. You know what it is? It's just too big for my freezer, though. I can't do both. See, like, now that I took it out, because I bought some meat, I gotta bring it downstairs in my deep freezer. So I just put vodka, a splash of grapefruit, and I'm gonna put salsa. I'm not doing anything crazy. My hubby is doing paperwork shit. He's on his organization thing right now. He's going through paperwork. <laughs> um, the first thing I'm gonna work on is my kids' pasta. So if they start like wanting to eat before us, at least I'll have that done. I have uh, water over here boiling. Well, it's not boiling yet. I'm putting it on. Shake it there. And then I have this little pan. I'm going to just put some olive oil in here. And I'm really just going to fry up some broccoli and some summer squash. I'm not even going to put the onion because Tina's going to tell me she don't want the onion. Uh, but I will put a little garlic and just a little chicken stock. And they're going to have that with pasta. I'll put some, like, you know, grated palm. Thank you, Miss Lisa. Uh, like before serving, I'll put some cheese. But let me just get that going. So they have food just in case I'm not done. 
What's up, guys? Good afternoon. What time is it where everybody is? Because for, for me, it's like almost night. Cheers. Thank you, Shabs. Thank you, Amanda. I'm just making a... This is like actually considered quick. It's just because I'm making multiple things. Thank you, Sherry. That's what takes so long, you know? I'm just going to get some olive oil hot in here. And I'm going to just put the vegetables right in and I'll baste with a little chicken stock. This is cut pretty small, so they're not going to take long. I like to just always make sure I have something on the table for my kids that I know that they'll like. Because I know sometimes there's stuff that we make and the kids like odd about trying it, you know? But if there's something already there, they're not asking you for something else. You know what I mean? Thank you, Vendi. Thank you, Ann B. If it's there, it's not like you're making a separate meal just for them. You know what I mean? This is just some summer squash. So I make pasta like this for them probably like once a week. And it's really just whatever vegetables I have in my house. Sometimes I'll just do like garlic and oil with the broccoli or peas. Um, this is, I guess, like a primavera, they call it when you do like vegetables with pasta. Usually it has a pepper, but it's good. Plus I feel like my kids are always more inclined to eat the veggies if it's surrounded by pasta. Right? I love broccoli with garlic and oil. Me too. Delicious. Delicious. All right, so I have the oil hot. I'm going to just put the veggies in. This, this is why I have. This is why that tool. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you. One of my favorite tools in the kitchen. Just like scrapes everything off your board. Everybody should definitely have one of these. Honestly, you want to know? This is Rachel Ray Brands. I've had this before I even lived in this house. Um, and I got the idea from scraping from Rachel Ray as well. So can I knock Rachel Ray? She's another home chef. Like that made a brand for herself. She got like a daytime TV show now, I think. I love them. I don't have many kitchen gadgets. There's a few things that I like need in my kitchen. Definitely one of them. Let me just slice up some garlic for that. And I need chicken stock. Let me just put a little bit of chicken stock in here. You have one you never use? Oh my God, you have to use it. Not much garlic, just a little bit of flavor, you know? They don't really care. I use garlic as like a spice, you know? Like, you know how you put salt and pepper in things? I feel like garlic is like a salt and pepper. And then for them, I am gonna put a little salt. I'm not gonna salt it the way I would if it was just hot, like if I was gonna me to. I think I'm going to use mini rigatoni. Let's see what I have open. I'm going to go check the pantry. I had the gate up because Mariella crawls in the kitchen and her new thing is she goes straight to the dog food. And, I, and like my dog is old, so I can't really keep the water and the food up all day. So she's just blocked out of the kitchen right now. <laughs> So I have to walk 
Will you clean it out of your filing cabinet? Hello. So this is just a quick pasta and vegetables I'm making for my kids. I'm going to actually move this pan back there because I want to fry up the chicken spadinis quick and throw those in the oven. Those are for my husband. I got those from the Vodis. And then we're going to make pork chops and vinegar peppers. Pork chops and vinegar peppers. I'm going to actually use these little shells. That's what I got. That's what I got open, you know. All right, um, I need a spoon for this. So these are just summer squash, broccoli, garlic, oil, and a little chicken stock. I'm just sauteing this up, and I'm gonna put this over pasta, and it's gonna be like a side dish, but it's really just for my kids. You know, because I feel like they're not gonna really love I feel like the vinegar peppers with the pork chops are a little too hot for them. And they, they probably will enjoy the chicken spadini, but this is also a good side dish for them. So. Just in case. You know, like I said, I like to have options. I don't want them to have to ask me for something else. I'm going to just throw this in the burner back there. For my chicken spadinis, I'm thinking if I should just throw them in the oven and not even sear them. I'm gonna actually fry them up first. Okay, need anything? So these are, have you ever heard of chicken spadini? Thank you, Shabs. I do make these at home also, but I was in there, you know, and sometimes I like to pick up little specialty things for my, for my freezer as well. Um, so, it's basically like a thin chicken cutlet that they put like breadcrumb on and they stuff it with, this has um, bacon, peppers and onions, spices and mozzarella. So I'm gonna actually use my non-stick and I'm gonna fry them up real quick. And then I'm gonna just finish them off in the oven. Just fry those in a little olive oil. And then I'm also gonna make a little arugula salad for the side. So my lives, if you're if you're new around here, they're usually very chaotic because how I plan my meals is I literally open my fridge. Thank you guys so much. I literally open my fridge and I'm like, all right, what can I make out of what I have? So I don't sit and like plan my meals. I literally just wing it. Sometimes I'm just like, all right, this is what I should do, and there we go. Thank you guys. Just because I feel like food doesn't really have to be so complicated. Like, people sit down, they plan this whole week of meals. Like, what if by Wednesday I don't want what we wrote down on Sunday? You know? I could change my mind. So this is just like a, a, a non-stick. I'm going to um put olive oil in there. And just fry up the chicken spadinis before I put them in the oven. They're going to only take probably about 15, 20 minutes, too. They take quick. Yeah, I can. Because sometimes even if I go, like, if you were to write the meal and then you choose to not have that. Thank you for the birdies. That was cute. Um, then you go shopping for all those ingredients. Then come Wednesday and you're like, well, I don't want that. And then you already have it. That's why I just, like, when I go, when I go food shopping, I always just have certain things in my house that I always buy. 
produce, vegetable, uh, you know, fruit, whatever. And me, I always just make sure I keep certain things in my freezer. Like I always have some, some, some sort of chicken, some sort of beef, some sort of pork. Usually if I'm making fish, besides like shrimp, I'll go out that day and pick something up. But, um, I don't know. I'm not, I don't really plan shit. So my water is going, and, you know, my water is going to boil up. I'm going to fry up the chicken spadinis over here. This is what they look like. You don't have to get them from the box store. You can totally make them yourself. They're very easy. I will show you how to make them if you don't know. Very easy. I usually make them around the holidays and, ow, and we use them as like an appetizer because you could fry them and then slice them. But this is why I like to finish them in the stove, if in the oven, because you like to just get them really crispy on top. They're not gonna cook up here. You know what I mean? These are the target shorts, yeah. You're not gonna finish cooking them in the pan. You're just getting them a little, you know. What's our target? Yes. This is chicken fadini. So it's chicken rolled with like cheese and spices. This has bacon in it, I think. I got this from the pork store. I didn't actually make these um, fadinis, but I'm making this because my husband doesn't really love pork chops and vinegar peppers. So I'm going to have an option for him too, obviously. I'm also making pasta and vegetables. Over here, I have these just sauteing up. It's just broccoli and summer squash with olive oil, chicken stock, and, and some garlic. And that's going to be like a little side pasta for my kids as well. The pork store is like a, I, it's like a butcher. I would compare it more to a butcher than I would a deli. This is the pan I'm going to put them in to put in the oven. I'm going to put my oven on my three-fifths day because they're not gonna need to get brown. I'm already gonna brown them. We just wanna like slowly cook them through. Dinosaur's here. See, just got like a little crust on them. And like I said, we'll finish them in the oven. I swear, the Miss Rachel just plays in my head all day. My kid's not even watching it. She's crawling around. But it's just like the background music. My cocktail is grapefruit and salsa. And vodka, of course. I'm going to pour some pasta in. This is like a little more than half a box. I'm not even going to use all that. I'm going to probably use like half of that. Like half of a half. When I pour, when I toss the uh, pasta together, I'm gonna put in grated cheese. All right, pasta's on. Once this is done, I am going to start making the vinegar peppers with the pork chops. Very easy as well. Steak spadini. I'm assuming it's very similar, right? I have made a few things on here. Once I I um. Did like a poison thing steak and I stuffed it with scallions. That was really good. This will definitely be on YouTube. Also, if you're looking for the Chick-fil-A video, um, it's because YouTube has it like on hold. I don't know what the hell they're doing with it. But, um, I'm, this is why I don't have music on right now. You guys know I'm usually, like, bumping on my live. But they've been blocking my videos on YouTube for copyright fringes in, like, certain states and countries. And they're holding my video. So, 
it's just like a, a waiting process. All right, so my vegetables, I'm gonna chop them off because they're they're basically done now. I'm gonna put these in here, and then we're gonna throw it in the oven. I'm gonna put a little chicken stock over them as well so they don't get dry in the oven. Just a little on the bottom, you know? You don't want them sitting in a ton of broth. You just want the bottom to have a little liquid so it could create steam and help them cook nicely. Not dry them out, you know? You want a little steam or else it's gonna be dry. I'm gonna pour this olive oil over it because it also has the pan drippings. I'm just gonna put a little bit of chicken stock just to get some on the bottom of the pan. See? And that actually will create a really delicious sauce because whatever comes out of this chicken is gonna go into that stock. And that's how you create pan sauces. Very easy. Like, I feel like chicken stock, you guys know I really prefer to make my own. I always have stock in my house, regardless if it's in the freezer or in the pantry. Just because you can do a lot of stuff with stock. All right, let's work on the pork chops. I'm only making two pork chops, but did you see, we've been on live for how long, literally? Not, probably not even like 20 minutes. And I already have two meals started, done. I'm just waiting for my pasta to cook. Stock or broth? Um, I, I feel like stock is way more flavorful, um, but both will do. The pan is temptations to get good produce. So I really do love the whole food produce. Um, I don't think their produce is any more expensive than any other grocery store. My Trader Joe has great produce. Sometimes even my Walmart has like beautiful produce. So it really just goes by like, it, it's never the same, you know? Like if I go to Walmart today and it's, and it's beautiful, next week it won't be. Like it's never, consistent. You know what I mean? And that's for everything. That's for everywhere lately. I really like, I love seasons like this when they have like the little local markets, but they, I, ha I don't even know what's, go what's like, what's going on around me either. Usually I find out through Facebook, but I don't know. They have a Rutgers uh, Cook's Country. I think it's called, maybe not Cook's Country. Cook's something cooks camp it's on cooks campus or something i don't freaking know it's a farmer's market that's not far from me on writer's lane and it, it is a, a cute little farmer's market but they don't really have much this time of the year like maybe like in a couple of weeks they'll have different because they only have like what's in season um but they do have great like when i was pregnant with mariella oh my god i used to go there all the time there was this woman that made homemade granola bars Oh, I forgot about that lady. Those are so freaking good. I have to get over there. So good. Ooh, roasted eggplant. Make sure you take a picture and send it to me. Synthetic meats? That's that's scary. What's the point? What's the point of that? What is the point of a synthetic meat? Like, I just don't get it. To mass produce it? Because you guys know what happens. When we start, when we start doing that. All right. First things first, we're gonna fry up our pork chops, um, and then we're gonna work on the vinegar pepper sauce, which is also so freaking easy. Okay, so easy. I feel like if you want to reduce animal cruelty, you should just stop eating meat. Then, you know, like if if you're if you're trying to do that, then stop eating meat. Don't eat fake meat. Don't replace real meat with fake meat because you wanna watch what you're doing to animals. Eat, you just eat vegetables and eat whole real foods. I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, wanting to stop animal cruelty, but I do think there's something wrong with synthetic meat, 100%. So I do have these beautiful pork chops that I got from ShopRite. Um, I'm not gonna wash them, so if that freaks you out, 
I'm just wanting you now. Okay, and they're very nice. But I'm only gonna make two of them because I, I don't know who else is gonna eat these. I don't think Seraphine has ever had them. Marielle's a little young and my husband does not like them. <laughs> and the reason why he doesn't like them is because when I first got with them, he, he loved it and I made it for him like all the time. And now he like can't even take the smell of it. So sorry, babe. Also, does this synthetic meat actually taste like meat? Probably not. I mean, listen, do you. But don't come near me with that shit. I'm not eating that shit. I'd rather just eat vegetables for the rest of my life. No problem. Nope. Okay. That drink is so refreshing. Like, it's actually refreshing. Yeah. She's at her desk, babe. She said she has work to do. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna stir this pasta I got over here. Uh, so I'm just gonna put salt and pepper on these. These do not need anything. The sauce that we're gonna be using is so flavorful. And I'm gonna put a little flour. I'm not gonna like dredge them. I'm just gonna do a little shaky shaky. I'll show you. I'll show you, show you. Don't worry. I'm gonna put a little drizzle of flour now and then season it all together. That just saves me dishes. So good, right? In this pan, I'm gonna put a little olive oil. And you need a little butter, too. So I'll get that. But right now, I need to get all the shit away from me because I'm surrounded by stuff. And I truly feel cluttered. <laughs> Am I crazy? Okay, little flour on both sides. Not crazy, you know, just a little, you're gonna dredge it off anyway. And then we're gonna season, don't worry, I'm gonna season. This is just avoiding me to use another plate, guys. Get this freaking thing out. You are gonna spoil your dinner. I'm gonna give you a plate of vinegar, Captain. <laughs> What's the secret to a healthy relationship, babe? Food. Food. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I'm a good cook probably doesn't hurt because I, you know, my attitude is a little up there, I gotta say. But um, I would say definitely communication for sure. Communication is a very big part of it, for, for, for me at least. Um, so both sides I'm going to season with salt, pepper. That's it. Here's the salt. I hear. Mom, what are you making for dinner? I am making some pasta with broccoli and some zucchini squash. Mmm, yummy. I am making some. I'm trying to find my black pepper, Fina. Mm -hmm. Don't touch the meat. Go wash your hands now. Here it is. Go wash your hands now. Let me check that pasta. Do you hear the shoes, guys? Do you hear the shoes? My kid doesn't just put on dress up. She goes all out. She puts on the jewelry, the headband, the heels, like clonka, 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 all day. Mariella's sleeping. Clonka, 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 clonka. There's no sleeping. There's no sleeping. Push it in, you know? Push it in. Gonna wash my hands now. The most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. I took the pasta out. All right, another two minutes. Okay. So I'm putting my oil on and my butter. 
Funk, 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 funk. Funky funks. When I put them in the pan, I will dust off more of the flour and I will season again. Um, but this just helps me avoid another pan, guys, you know? So once you put that in, we're gonna start. So I also put some sweet peppers in here. I use the hot jar of the vinegar peppers, but I do put some sweet, like just whatever bell peppers you have. To strain the pasta, but I want to just make sure I don't burn this oil. Let's toss this pasta first, and then we'll put it aside because we'll be done with it. All right, first things first, if you're making this at home, this is when I would add like a ton of fresh herbs. But my daughter, my is not gonna want that, you know? So I am gonna add some cheese. This is the vegetables that we fried up. With garlic. A little bit of oil, just to, you know, tie it all together. I'm gonna just put some cheese. And that's it, these are for my kitty bitties. What do the mods need for? Are people being mean to me? How could you be mean at delicious food? I don't got it. This is pasta for my kids. It's just pasta with oil, garlic, a little bit of chicken stock, summer squash, and broccoli. And then I just finished it with some palm, okay? So I'm gonna put this aside. What's bajuta? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. So bye bye, babe. Have a great day. See ya. So I have to be like the babysitter here. Do, do, does the 34 year olds have to babysit? Is that what needs to happen here? Anyway, thank you, Em. This is such a kid friendly pasta. Also, the summer squash kind of like blends in. Also, it's very colorful. Like, I feel like maybe they're more inclined to eat it. Thank you, Holly. Okay. So, I'm going to just put this aside. I'm going to put some foil on it. And my kid's pasta's done. The chicken spadini, I'm going to give it, like, another five. Oh, this is open. Let's close it. Let me just put foil over my kid's pasta. This is why I... I turned my captions off because TikTok di like dogs me in the comments. I mean, in the captions all the time. But then someone reached out to me that was deaf and actually uses the captions. So I turned it on for them. You know what I mean? And there's people in the world making fun of me. Like, whatever. I don't even care. It's just like the most bizarre thing to me. So I posted that sushi mukbang of me and my hubby on um, Instagram. And I just don't go on Instagram as much as I'm on here. Like, I do go on it, you know, but I, I definitely post more here because my following is here. Um, but people were so mean on Instagram. Like, I thought TikTok would be bad. Instagram was worse. And I'm like, this is like, this app is so over. No one even cares about this app anymore. What are you people doing? And they were saying, like, te just terrible mean things. And I was just like, I literally go on and I'm like, I wish you well. Like, I wish you have a great time. 
I hope you have a beautiful day. Because I truly don't give a shit about the opinion of strangers on the internet. When are people going to get that? You want to come in, Shmoopy All right, let's put some butter. So I have olive oil here and a little butter. I'm gonna get my pork chops in and then we're gonna start slicing up some onions, some peppers, and I'll show you the vinegar peppers that I use. This recipe is one of my mom's favorites. She loves this shit. And I love a nice fatty pork chop like this, so I do enjoy it here and there, but it's definitely not something I can have all the time. No, people say such mean shit. Why, I don't even know what it was. But you know what? I'm at the point in my life now where that stuff does not bother me. Like, I would have never had the skin to be on social media if this was like 10 years ago. I just mentally would not do it. I wouldn't even be able to get this far on social media because I would have never put myself out there. Ever. I was like always worried what everyone was going to say. Now, I'll do shit on purpose to give you something to talk about. But for the main fact that you revolve your life around being shitty to other people. Weird, so weird. It's just so weird to me. And I feel like I am, I try to be super supportive. Like when I go on my For You, if there's something that I like or something where I'm laughing at, I comment, I like, like I really try to be supportive as well. I also try to answer as many comments as I can. You guys know it's, it's, I, there's, it's impossible to answer everybody. I'm gonna use some pepper, some regular peppers too. I don't know if you're supposed to add regular peppers. I do it. Um, I feel like it looks prettier, and I do like the contrast with the sweet peppers and the hot peppers. Thank you guys for the hots. Thank you, Shay. Thank you, Karina. I am from Howard Beach, Queens. I lived there till I was like 25. Then I lived in Staten Island for a few years, and now I live in New Jersey. All right, now that you have your butter and your oil nice and toasty. You want to put your pork chops in. I'm going to go wash my hands. And at this point, you just want to get a nice crust on these because you're going to take them out and we're going to finish them in the sauce. You cook the yours that you like. All right, so these are nice and thick. You want to get a nice crust on them. We're going to slice up our veggies in the meantime. But um, boneless, smaller boneless pork chops, what I like to do with those is I like to fry them up like this. And I fry up mushroom and onions, and I make like a quick gravy, like a like a white gravy, like maybe a slash of cream or a little bit of chicken stock and sour cream. I like to do that with the thin ones, or I'll just fry them like a chicken cutlet and serve them with sides. So all this has in it is peppers and onions, really. So I'm gonna cut up my peppers. Oh, you made the shrimp oregonata? Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I learned to cook, my mom and my grandma cooked a lot. Like we never really got takeout growing up. Takeout was like a holiday thing or like a special occasion, you know? Um, but also I like always enjoyed cooking. So I did like, I guess, teach myself a lot too. You and your sisters are obsessed. You're all watching right now. That is so cool. Hey, guys. What up, sis? <laughs> hey, girly. 
So for scallops, I actually have a video on my YouTube for that. I showed, I taught you how to sear scallops and that came out really good. I made a quick pan sauce with like capers if you want to go check that out. Let me get a fork. Their pasta is done. See? Nice crust. Beautiful. My cutting board I got from TJ Maxx. The brand is Booze Block. Um, they're not cheap, although mine was cheaper because I got it from TJ Maxx. But, um, I definitely recommend it, 100%. You just have to make sure you clean it properly. I am gonna make a video on how to clean it. Um, I use lemon and sea salt. Lemon and like a, the, the, uh, the dinosaur is here, so. If you hear her, she's just hanging out back there, you know? What you say? You okay. My husband is on daddy duty right now. That cry makes me cringe. Like I feel like I instantly need to like go tend to it, you know. But the thing is with that is we're in the position now where she's always looking for me. Because I'm just with her, you know, mostly all the time. I'm going to actually put this away. I don't need that. So we're trying to, uh, you know, split it. Like, she's so comfortable with me or my husband, and that's it. Because we're the, we're like the only ones with her really all the time. I'm going to take these out because I don't want to dry them out, but you also want them to finish cooking in the sauce. So in this fat, we're going to add our peppers and our onions. Let's fry these up first. And we will add our garlic in right before we add in whatever liquid. Because we don't want to burn the garlic. Going to also put some onions in here. The peppers are, they're called long sweet. So they have long hot peppers and these are called long sweet peppers. It's like that same flavor, but not spicy. I, and I actually said recently on here, I only can find them at Walmart. I'm gonna take the chicken spadinis out because those are done. I gotta get a dish towel, hold on. on the whole house because the freaking gate. It's such a bit to take off and put on, take off and put on. So you see this made like a little pan sauce. That looks delicious. I'm going to cover this with foil and let it just all cool together. These are the chicken sardinis that we made. If you're just hopping on now. This is pork chops and vinegar pepper, so I'm frying these up. I want them to get nice and brown. Like, I want them to be like a caramelized pepper and onion, you know? 
I'm gonna turn my heat up actually. And then we're gonna just make a quick arugula salad for the side of the floor, because that's what I want. So, my eyes are burning from that onion. All right, let me move this. So pasta's done, chicken's done, almost done with the pork. 515, I say I'll have dinner done by 530. Well, let's say 535, because I need another five minutes on these for sure. And then I need the pork chops to cook in the sauce for 10 minutes, and then we're good. And then 535, you know, they have to brass before we cut them. But don't they look beautiful? Pork chops like this, I would fry like a T-bone, like a T-bone steak or like a ribeye. You put them in a pan, you fry them in butter, and then when you flip them, you baste them with the butter. You put some fresh herbs, the garlic. I have fried a steak on here like that. Um, and that may be on my YouTube too. But that's really good with these like chunky pork chops. Smells really good in my house. I have my monitor here. Okay, you gotta put this on the charger. The monitor is dead. I'm gonna put my air conditioner on because it's hot as shit in here. Longer shorts. Did somebody say that? Let's go see who that winner is. Let's go check out that winner. Anyway. Would I ever do a house tour? I mean, I feel like I have showed you guys basically everything in my house. Okay, so I'm going to bake this with a little chicken stock, and then we are going to put the vinegar peppers in. The spin back. Yeah, because I'm like, did I read that right? All right, let me go get the vinegar peppers. See how, like, the texture of them is changing? They're starting to get nice and, you know, loose. They're not stiff anymore. Husband's favorite meal I make. Probably chicken cutlets, and he loves my macaroni and cheese, actually. He also loves anything I make curried. He loves my chili, like shit that you wouldn't think is like good that, that I make, you know? Like nothing Italian, because we're both so sick of Italian. As I make pork chops and vinegar puppets. <laughs> anyway, it's Here's our vinegar peppers. Now, I put the vinegar peppers in whole, mainly because they're very spicy, and if you don't feel like eating them in the sauce, you could just get, like, the flavor of them, but not the big chunks. So I'm really probably the only one that's going to eat these. I'm going to put in, like, three or four of them. These are spicy. You could use the slices also. I like to use the whole pepper. This also gets, like, soft as it cooks down. Instantly, my eyes are burning. These little baby ones. Perfect. I feel like I'm so unproblematic, too. Like, I really enjoy that about me because it keeps me so peaceful in life, you know? I just have no desire to be anything but that. I really don't. I just stay in my own lane. Like, I do what I enjoy doing. And maybe it's because I don't have, like, a, a, a ton of people that I'm, like, close with either. Like, 
I see some people that got like 20, 30 friends. I'm like, where are you finding these people? Where are you finding all these friends? I have like maybe three really close people that I like am close with. I just feel like it's very hard to find people I vibe with. This is definitely going to make your mouth water because the, the tang of the vinegar, like, I feel like my, like, I'm, like, drooling over here right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so this looks pretty delicious already, but we're going to put our pork chops in now. And I like to just nestle them on top because I don't want to get that top soggy. You know, you want to keep that crispy. And the, the sides of that are going to just cook in there and get nice and delicious. So you're going to get all the flavors of the vinegar pepper, but if you don't want to eat that hot pepper, you don't have to. You know? You got the sweet peppers to complement it. There's some juice in here. I'm going to put that in. Not much. And let's just make a quick salad. I'm gonna put a little more chicken stock in here. That's good. And I'm gonna just put a piece of foil over it. I have my heat on right now, like medium, just medium, you know, not high, not low, just medium. Oh, I gotta put garlic in here. I'm gonna put garlic in too. Garlic, garlic, garlic. A lot of, I like to put a lot, a lot of garlic. Thank you, Margarita. Hi, Richard. We'll put this garlic right in the sauce so it cooks nicely. I like to add my garlic towards the end. I don't, you know how I feel about burnt garlic. Not my thing. Not my thing. All right, I'm gonna just clean up my board and then we're gonna make a quick salad. Nothing crazy, like probably just arugula and cherry tomatoes with like a light vinaigrette because I'm gonna eat the vinegar uh, pork chop over the arugula, or maybe I'll serve it on top of the arugula. Maybe I'll put the arugula on top. We'll see. I think it's time for another drink. What do you think? Hey Kim, how are you my friends? Where have you been? We missed you. I've been on every day. I mean, maybe not live every day, but I've been going live way more than I ever went live. These shorts are from Target. I'm gonna make another drink, guys. Your mouth is definitely watering because vinegar peppers, that's what they do. They make your mouth water. They make your mouth water. Oh, look what I brought my kids. I'm just the best mom ever, aren't I? First of all, these things are like $8 a box. Absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd. But then I have to buy the cones, the ice cream, and the shit that they want to put on top of it, right? I got to make the mess of making the ice cream cones. Then I got to throw the box of cones out in two months because they decide they don't want the ice cream cones no more. And the cones are like... Cardboard. I feel like these will just stay better. You know what I'm saying? Perfect size. Like, I don't want to make them this humongous cone that I'm going to eat. Perfect size. Get the value brand small one. They didn't have it. I was looking for the value brand. They didn't have it. Listen, I am not against buying the store brand. I buy the store brand all the time. Is it good? Because I, I, did you see what happened to it? I tried to slice it and make it look like a double taco. 
You read that icing? No, not even that I read an icing. I sliced a new thing. It looks great. My favorite kind of cake. Yeah. Oh, of course. Baby, you sure you don't want to have a pork chop? Like, they're looking good. Come take a map. Come take a map. Come take a map. He's disgusted. He's so disgusted. <laughs> they look good. Okay. They look good. I know, you're not going to eat them, though. They do smell really good. They smell really good, yeah. I'm surprised you're not disgusted. No, it's not like gross. It's just, I don't know. Not yell thing. Not my thing. Not yell thing in the way. They do, right? It's like they're gonna explode. That's why I kept them whole, because I don't want they to get too hot. That's like that pepper's gonna explode. It probably will. No, I just put a whole They get so hot when you slice them, and then the sauce is like inedible. A little bit of grapefruit gels. Yeah, my hubby got tired of it because when we first got together, he told me how much he liked them. So I was like trying to be the old star and I made it for him all the time. And now he just can't even look at them ever again. <laughs> no, he likes pork. He doesn't like pork chops with vinegar peppers. He loves like spare ribs. He loves pulled pork. But that's also because shit, we don't really eat that shit too often. So when we do have it, we enjoy it, you know? I'm drinking Tito's, grapefruit, and um, a little bit of salsa. You made the Italian wedding soup. Awesome. That makes me so happy. I feel the same way about pork chops. My mom made them a lot as a kid, too. But I don't make them as much now. I, I don't. So that's why it's like, all right, it's, it's like enjoyable again for me, you know? Sometimes people think my sound is off, but it's really just the pan that they hear. Shrimp oregano, 10 out of 10. The vinegar jaw, yes, they were they were in a jaw. I like the thin, so I feel like there's a time and a place. So the, the thin cutlets are good for like Korean barbecue or if you're making like a pork cutlet, you know, like a, like a chicken cutlet, pork cutlet. The thick ones like this, I love to marinate them also. And do you guys ever hear of Saucy Susan? It's like an apricot duck sauce. That is so freaking good. And I used to dip my pork in there. I'm actually sad I don't have that in my fridge. You marinate a pork chop like this in Saucy Susan and put that on the grill, delicious. Do that and then tell me how delicious that is. Saucy Susan is such a great condiment. I'm actually mad at myself that I don't have that in my fridge right now. I'm actually pissed because a pork chop dipped in Saucy Susan, superb. Absolutely superb. My husband is like just done with meat lately, I feel. He like wants fish or he doesn't even care if I just do the, like a, like a meatless whatever. Saucy Susan is everywhere. It's in every grocery store. It's not new. It's been around forever. Thank you so much for the gift. Is it is? Thank you, Marianne. Thank you for sharing my live and following me. You guys are so dope. So Saucy Susan, I grew up with Saucy Susan. And in the summer, I normally do have it in my fridge because I love to use it in marinades. Oh, look, I'm a cowgirl. Thank you for the hat and mustache. Thank you, Jen. I am from Harrow Beach, Queens. I lived in Staten Island for a few years and now I'm in Jersey. All right, you see, these are done. I'm gonna shut them off. Because whatever residual heat is in the pan is going to finish cooking them. And we don't want them dry. Almost went in the pork chops. You guys want them that bad? You're trying to try and fall in? <laughs> I'm going to just slide them over, okay? Let's make a salad. Thank you for the dog. You look, babe. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and then I'll also slice the chicken with you. No, everything's done now. I'm gonna just make a quick little salad because I'm gonna put the pork chop with the arugula on top. A little fresh bite now. I'm just trying to clean up this area. You know I can't concentrate, right? It's just not possible. 
this will keep out. All right, it's pretty clean actually. I can make their plates. What time is it? 5.28, look at that. I got seven minutes and dinner's done. I am on point all the time. My time management skills is ridiculous. I'm not even kidding with you. My time management skills are superb. Okay, I'll make their plates. In a minute, I'm Anita. Sorry guys, I got lights galore over here right now. We have pastas over there. And then I will get, give me a piece of chicken. I'll cut the chicken for them before I do the salad. What's that, Mocha? Are the kids driving you crazy? Is that why you ran in here to get away from them? Me? No, the, do the oh. dog. Doesn't that look so good? Oh. Guys, I have to show you the pasta because after it sat a little bit, it all like congealed together. So good. You can't really tell on the plate, but it looks delicious. Got some lucky ass kids, babe. What do you think? Lucky I'm gonna shit. slice up the chicken for them. This is the chicken spadinis from Lavodi's. So I'll show you what they look like inside. They're stuffed with like a bacon, breadcrumb, mozzarella mixture. I didn't make these. I had made them, but I didn't make you these. You hungry? You hungry? Come on. And they have eat. cheese in them. So the pink that you see is the bacon. Come on, I'll put this in a plate for you to bring over there. What happened in the plate, babe? I got it. Just give me one, I'll put that piece in it. I left the plate over there for you. You chop up the chicken. I'll split it up between the two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I was looking for that. Thank you, babe. You think one piece is good for them? Yeah. Start with that. Because they're going to sit for a four and a lot. Yeah. Hungry time, hungry time. Mm. The pasta is Come delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Mm. All right, I'm gonna make a quick salad. I'm gonna make my pork chop plate and then I'm hopping off because as you can see, my kids are turning into pumpkins. <laughs> Hungry time, yes. This is a, see, but you see how I said dinner will be done five thirty-five. It's five thirty-two, and do you see how it's starting to happen? It's like I I know exactly when it's happening. Usually during the week, I'm by myself at that time, and I want to rip my hair out of my head, but my husband's here. There's always a plus for me. Turn the fork. Welcome, baby girl. Very quick salad. I'm gonna do a little bit of arugula. Seraphina Rose, can you bring me a lemon, please, my dear? My dear? <laughs> These are those. I don't know what they're called. The Twilight tomatoes. I'm gonna just cut a few of those and throw those in. Mama, is it raining the whole day? It's raining. It feels like it's raining for the rest of our lives. Isn't it so annoying, Sarah? Yeah! Wait, don't you want to just lounge in the yard and live like your okay. best life? That's a tomato. You want it? Um, what do you got? No. I'm putting it in the salad. I'm putting it in the salad. I really, really want yeah, it. I'll bring it to the table, okay? Yeah. Get your hair out of the food. This kid is, she never wants to put her hair up. She wants her hair down 24 seven. Which is cool, I got it. She loves her long hair, her long luxurious hair. I get it. Not when you're eating, not when you're cooking, not when you need the fire, like. Just a few tomatoes. Lemon. This is how I love to dress my arugula. Very simple. This is a really nice lemon. Sit down. Sit down. I'm gonna make you a plate. I'm gonna make you a plate. Don't worry about me. 
Are you gonna eat now with them? Are you gonna oh, wait for me? I'll wait for you. I'll be off in five. Yeah. Some olive oil. I'm not gonna wash arugula. That's triple washed already. Do I ever wash my veggies? You're not eating them, so it doesn't matter if I wash them. You'll never have to eat them. I promise. Olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon juice. Thank you for following me, babe. That's it. That's literally it, okay? Now I'm going to show you how I serve up the pork chops. I'm going to make my hubby's plate first, though. Babe, I'm going to give you some of the pasta, too, okay? Because it's Thanks. really good. This is really good. The kids are... I know they are. What can I say? This pasta, it's not like anything special. I just usually take whatever vegetables I have in the house, olive oil, garlic. I saute it up, and then I just toss it with a little, like, extra olive oil and cheese. They're telling me I'm freezing. You're freezing? You're I'm gonna cry if I miss the pork chops being being plated. It's not you, you got full service. <laughs> Thank you for the heart. I have the Wi-Fi off, babe. No, Wi-Fi sucks. Is it better now? What's going on now? You didn't see my hubby's plate? I'll show you my hubby's plate. Babe, give me a plate. They didn't see your plate. <laughs> Here's my hubby's plate. I don't know if you guys saw this. But this is the pasta I made. This is the arugula salad. And I sliced up his badinis. And I'm going to make mine. What baby girl? Daddy gave you a juice? Yeah. You didn't tell Daddy I ever gave you a juice today? <laughs> I did, but I didn't want it. Yeah, okay. Let me get my plate now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What does she want? She wants some arugula salad. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring you a arugula salad, babe. Hold on, let me get my kids some arugula. Yeah. You don't want the pasta or the chicken that mom gave you? The pasta is delicious. You don't need the sauce. What can she not make? There's nothing on it. I did, I didn't put anything in. What did you do? No, I made the pasta plain. It's just garlic cake. All right, I'm gonna serve up my plate and then I'm hopping off because we're gonna eat. Look at them, are they beautiful or what? All right, so I'm gonna put my pork chop, then I'm gonna put my arugula on the pork chop and then I'm gonna put the hot peppers on the arugula, okay? There's a science to how you plate your food. I mean, for me at least, I don't know if it's the OCD in me. It's like I need certain flavors to go with certain flavors, you know? Am I enjoying Serafina on break? Oh my God, for sure. I'm also enjoying not having to like rush out of the house every morning, you know? Okay, so here is the pork chop, which is so tender. Actually, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna wilt the arugula. I'm gonna put the peppers over here and then the, and then the arugula. Not for me. Here's the onions and the peppers. Garlic. I'm gonna give myself a spicy pepper too. What does she want to do? You ever have like chicken milanese? Then a pork chop milanese. <laughs> and then you eat everything together. Of course I'll take a bite with you. 
my fork and then I'm bouncing out of here guys. Alright, let's take a bite of everything. Fun fact, my favorite part of the pork chop is like along the bone. It's like the juiciest part. So tender guys, I'm not even kidding you. All right, here's the pork, some arugula and pepper. Perfect bite. Mmm. Mm. I like really know how to cook. Okay. Look what you guys did. I'm so freaking proud of you. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right. I love you guys so much. I'm going to go chill with my crow and eat my food. Thanks for hanging with me. I'll see you next time.